assignment to requirement and the database that you should use have been posted on the course website. Um, if you click on assignment 2, you've got the uh, assignment requirement. And then this is the database that you should download. Let me demonstrate how you should use this database to, uh, to work on your assignment 2. You click on the Northwind database link. You save it. You save it to a folder, uh, like a temp folder. Um, I wouldn't recommend you save it under my document because that's difficult to find. So once you save it, it's there. You open the file explorer and find that zip file. This is the one. You double click on it. And from file, you just say extract all. You extract it to a subfolder, a newly created subfolder. Um, let's just call it Northwing temp and north wind subfolder and you just say extract now under the temp and the north wind subfolder we got this database this is the one you should open and work on but before you do that you will rename the database if you're in section 1 type 1 if you're in section 2 which started at 1030 that's section 2 you type 2 section 1 started at 9 Enter your last name, remember last name first, and then followed by your first name. I'm using my name as an example. Don't change the extension, file extension. Once, you're, once you have that rename, you're ready to open it. The database you just opened, the first thing to do is actually to, uh, you, you see uh, this security warning. To get rid of it, I would enable the content. Just say OK. So now this is the database you should work on. Uh, you can look at all the existing table, and then you can look at the query that you're supposed to create. Uh, let me first show you how you should uh, finish one thing before you get started. There's a table called greeting. You first choose tables and choose double click on grading under the grading you would enter your email address and then your session number uh, enter one in this case followed by your last name and then first name once this is done you can close it double click make sure that's safe so this complete the first part of the demo on assignment two, which is how you open the database and start working on it. I will show you in the next segment how to work on those query. Let's work on the Northwind database. Once you download it and zip it and open it and zip file and also enable the, uh, the content from the security warning. And the first thing you need to work on is to look at the query that you're supposed to create. Assignment 2 requires you to create 11 query. It's been created here for you, but it's a dummy query, which um, it's kind of an empty query that you have to modify to give me the right answer. The query 11 is an update statement. All the other tens are select statements and let's use query number one as an example you double click on it you see the data sheet view switch to the design view move your cursor on top of this column click right mouse button to delete it and then you start selecting the table that you need to use for this query to complete this query. In this case, we ask for customer. That's uh, from the United States. So I'll just say add. And depends on what the 
requirement is, for instance, if the requirements say you need customer ID, customer name, maybe contact, num contact name for all the customer from United States, okay? And then you need to select all the necessary column. Uh, let me just double check the requirement. I'm going to bring up the assignment requirement. And if you go all the way down to page seven, it said list all the customer from United States with customer name, country column. So only customer name and country column. Okay. And you do need to sort by customer name in ascending order. So in this case, let's switch back. So basically, I don't need customer ID. I don't need contact name. Those are the only two that I need. So the country has to be United States. But should I enter United States of America? Uh, in this case, I should come back to the table, look at customer table, and find out that what is the country code for United States. And you scroll down, you find out it is USA. So let's close this. Switch back to the query. So here I say the criteria equal to in double quote USA. That's the country code for United States customer. And since we want the customer company name to be sorted in ascending order, I'm going to just say ascending. Run it. Okay. And that seems like an interesting and reasonable answer. If you're satisfied with it, and basically you can click save to save it. You can close the query. Okay. You can come back and double click. Just make sure it's been saved properly and give you the correct answer. Okay. Right now it looks good, so we can close it. Now you move on, you start working, look, read the requirement for quest query two, and then modify it accordingly. Uh, I'll just show one more time. You double click. Once again, there's a dummy query result. You go to the design view, highlight the column. Okay. When you highlight the column, you move your cursor on top of the column and hit click the lead. Click the right mouse button choose show table to select the table or query that you would use to create this new query or modify this existing query and and that's how you actually um, try to work on those assignments you modify all the query listed here plus question 12 which you're required to create a forms two different forms and building a relationship creating a new table and and once you've done all of that you will submit this Northwing data close this Northwing database once you've done all of that and submit the Northwing database through the digital Dropbox back to me the detailed procedure instruction for submitting the Northwing database back to me has been um, described in the assignment to description so this complete um, the demo for how to work on assignment two. Thank you and good luck.